Hello second class students. In this lecture I'm going to comment on the dialogical interaction between Santiago and the boy about baseball and African lions. And also I'm going to comment on Santiago's dreams of the lions. Uh, the old man and the boy talked about baseball and the African lions. Santiago told that DiMaggio was a great champion player and that he was the hero of the Yankees. They talked of the baseball and uh, heroes uh, such as Joe DiMaggio and uh, Dick Sisler and of the famous baseball managers such as John Magro and Leo Drocha who had actually visited the terrace in the past. Uh, the boy told that uh, uh, Magro was perhaps the greatest baseball manager and that he was interested in, in horse racing besides baseball. Uh, the, the man also talked about the African lions, but the boy told that he had already told him about the lions. Uh, the boy then told Santiago that he was the best fisherman. He told there are many good fishermen and some great ones, but there is only one, you. Uh, the old man felt very happy after that at the comment made by the boy and replied, you make me happy. I hope no fish will come long so great that he will prove us wrong. The, the boy told that there was no such fish if he, if he were still as strong as he said to be. Uh, however, the old man told that he might not be th that strong, but he still had many tricks and uh, uh, he had determination. Uh, Santiago now dreams about the lions. After the boy had gone, the old man fell asleep. During his sleep, uh, the old man dreamed of, uh, of his boyhood, uh, childhood days in Africa. Uh, he dreamed of the long golden beaches and the white beaches so white that they hurt the eyes. At this time of life, the old man didn't dream of beautiful women of storms, nor of great occurrences, nor of a great fish, nor of fight, nor of any contests of strength, but uh, of his of his uh, power to concentrate on on the next day. And even he he was not thinking about a wife. But he dreamed of the lions on the beach and of such places. He dreamed that the lions placed. Uh, in his memory and they played like uh, young cats in the dusk and he loved them as he loved the boy. He never dreamed about the boy and he simply woke and looked out the open door as the moon and unrolled his trousers and put them on. The boy while eating with Santiago tried hard to make him live as strong as possible. This time he reminds him of baseball. Uh, the boy is aware that such topic is a source of delight and energy for Santiago. Hence helping him to forget the poor living conditions that the old man is realizing experiencing. Tell me about the baseball, the boy asked him. In the American League, it is the Yankees, as I said, the old man said happily. The boy succeeded in making the old man delighted as the narrator tells the way Santiago responds to the boy's question. The old man said happily. DiMaggio is himself again, it refers to the extent Santiago has faith in this man as, as a hero, especially when describing him as great. The old man's mood changes, of course, when talking about his hero, a goal that the boy is behind when, when interacting with the old man. The boy keeps the dialogue with Santiago when trying to make him remember some other great players, especially the baseball manager when, when he was coming to the terrace. Do you remember when he used to come to the terrace? I wanted to take him fishing out with us, but I was so timid to ask him. Then I asked you to ask him, and you were too timid too. I knew it was a great mistake. He might have gone with us. Then we would have that for all of our lives. 
I would like to take the great DiMaggio fishing. The old man said, they say his father was fisherman. Maybe he was as poor as we are and we'd understand. The basis of Santiago's devotion to this hero lies in the similarity between the two men. DiMaggio was once poor and his father was a fisherman also, but now he is, is famous and, and rich. So, remembering such figure helps Santiago live in a situation of competition to achieve great success and optimism. Uh, then the dialogue changes into another topic, but also a source of energy that Santiago feels concerned and delighted when talking about. It is about his past. When he was the boy's age, he was in Africa and those visions of the lions. When I was your age, I was before the mast on a square rigged ship that ran to Africa and I, I've seen lions on the beaches in the evening. The boy endeavors to make Santiago stick to one topic and to concentrate on the topic that is more realistic and recent to the present moment. Talking about Africa is something related to the far past. And talking about lines is related to dreams. The boy doesn't want him to live in dreams, but in realities and great actions, which are directly pertained to baseball. And DiMaggio, should we talk about Africa or about baseball? Baseball, I think, the boy said. Tell me about the great John Magro. He said, Yota for J. He used to come to the terrace sometimes too in the older days. But he was rough and harsh spoken and difficult when he was drinking. His mind was on horses as well as baseball. At least he carried lists of horses uh, at all times in his pocket and frequently spoke the names of horses on the telephone. He was a great manager, the boy said. My father thinks he was the greatest. The boy finally accomplished his intent, which is to flourish the old man's virility and mind power when he compares uh, other fishermen uh, to Santiago, telling him directly that he was the best one the boy believes, though there are many other experienced fishermen. And the best fisherman is you. No, I know others better. Quiver, the boy said, there are many good fishermen and some are great ones, but there is only you. Thank you, you make me happy. The boy here shows faith in Santiago's ability. The old man still refers to the fish with he, as if the process of fishing is a matter of fight. A man against man. I hope no fish will come long so great that he will prove us wrong. The boy's response is then rendered for the purpose of enhancing and urging Santiago to keep bodily stamina and endurance through eating. There is no such fish if you are still strong as you say. The old man's reply here summarizes the weapons that he can fight with which are tricks and resolution that keep Santiago's determination on the road of expecting the future success. I may not be as strong as I think, the old man said, but I know many tricks and I have resolution. The boy then shows a final reference to the principle of caring when he leaves him and saying, which is now taken as a mother's, mother's care for her son. You ought to go to go to bed now so that you will be fresh in the morning. This caring note is, 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 is closed with an offering of help. I will take the things back to the terrace. A mutual caring occurs between the two friends when the old man replies that he will wake the boy in the morning, which is in the early morning. Good night then, I will wake you in the morning. The old man seems very organized and this is asserted when the boy tells that he depends entirely on the man to wake him up. You are my alarm clock. And how the old man refers to the fact of his organized ways of living when he said, age is my alarm clock. 
The boy finishes talking with Santiago in a hint of caring, as if a mother advises her son, Sleep well, old man. And the narrator then presents a series of visual images that portray Santiago's abject poverty conditions. No lights to eat under, and evening dark during the night, which raises a sense of gloomy, hence a sensory image of the tactile sort. There is no pillow to rest his head on. The old man took his trousers and went to bed in the dark. He rolled his trousers up to make a pillow, putting the, the newspaper inside them, and even no comfortable bed to sleep on. He rolled himself in the blanket and slept on the other old newspapers that covered the springs of the bed. He rolled himself in the blanket is a kinesthetic image that arouses the idea of how difficult life the old man experiences in the current situation. The old man's dream is presented by the narrator according to the four sensory imagery, visual, auditory, kinesthetic, and gestural. The long golden beaches and the white beaches are all visual images when the narrator describes the beaches according to color and size. The mountains are also presented according to color and size, which are two visual images. Such visual images are useful to convey Santiago's longing to his childhood, adulthood, because such scenes are really wonderful. The auditory images are made then explicit via the use of, of the verb heard. In his dreams, he heard uh, the surf roar. The auditory image is then supported with the kinesthetic image. When describing the boat's movement, the native boats come riding through it. Finally, a gestural image is presented uh, through the repetition of the verb smell. He smelled the tar and oakum of the deck as he slept and he smelled the smell of Africa that the land breeze brought at morning. The four merged images help understand and feel the deep details of Santiago's dream about Africa as if our senses experienced that dream. The next paragraph continues Santiago's dreams and how the narrator is an omniscient one in these two paragraphs, since he is inside Santiago's mind. The second part of the dream is related in terms of visual images, when the narrator tells of physical details, to see the white peaks of the islands rising from the sea, and then he dreams of the harbors and roadsteads of the Canary Islands. Thank you for listening. This is everything about today's lecture. And I hope that you get something important about the types of imagery and the type of narratorial mediation, as well as the dialogical interaction between the two characters and how friendship is really uh, made so explicit through the type of the interaction between the two in terms of principles of friendship, such as caring and physical health.